Hey everyone, this is Gavin with CJ Detailing. Uh, today we're going to be going over the five steps to properly wash your fiberglass travel trailer. So step one is going to be give the entire trailer a good rinse. You're going to want to start with the roof and work your way down. That way you're rinsing off all the dirt and debris first and not having to work your way back up and redo it. So let's get started with the rinse. We're going to use our electric pressure washer here. That's all you need. You don't need a lot of pressure. Uh, Basically, you just want something strong enough to blow all that dirt and debris off. So, let's get started. Hey, so one thing I wanted to go over real quick is the importance of rinsing off your roof. We have this Oliver Legacy Elite 2 travel trailer, and they have these awnings on the side, and it's very important to get all this dirt and debris out from under here, especially in these little cracks down here, because as you can see, the longer it sits on here, it starts to stain the surface, especially if it's left unprotected over time that kind of just sits there and will create a problem. So you want to make sure you're rinsing this off real good. So this right here is why it's important to start at the top. Because if you start at the bottom, rinse your way up. Once you get to the top, you're gonna blow all this all this junk down to the bottom again. Look at all this. And then if, if you start at the bottom, you're gonna have to redo it. But so you start at the top, now it's just as simple as rinsing all the stuff off. So let's do it. Okay, so after we're done with the rinse, uh, one thing you're going to want to do is clean the wheels specifically just because they get so dirty. Now what you can do is you can either use your regular soap while you're washing the rest of it or what we like to do is use a non-acidic wheel cleaner. Uh, you can pick it up at an auto store that says auto parts or anything like that. This is a non-acidic wheel cleaner. It can go on the tires and the wheels. Uh, Denver's applying it right now. Then he's going to use a stiff bristle brush to clean the tires, clean the rubber. After that, he's going to use a microfiber towel to clean the wheels, and then we'll rinse them off and get onto the rest of the walk. like to do since we are using a pressure washer is get our foam cannon which allows us to spray soap directly on the surface but if you're using a regular hose you might not have one of these there's another thing you can do and that is to get two buckets fill one with clean water and one with soap soap and water and you're going to want to make sure the surface is wet at all times so what we like to use is a wash mitt like this it's for cars travel trailers whatever or you can use a soft bristle brush to clean the surface as well so let's get started with the wash. One of the important things to get up here is down in this crack. A lot of algae and dirt builds up right here, so really important to get in there. And then also underneath the solar panel, sometimes hard to reach, but you can get a wash mitt up under there and get that really good. All right, so I'm using a soft bristle brush to get to the hard to reach places, especially up high, because uh, you know I'm vertically challenged, so. Uh, it makes it a lot easier and it tends to go a little bit quicker when you use these. Right. So it's really important 
while you're washing to continuously rinse off your mitts or your brushes because while you're going around the trailer washing you're actually picking up little particles dirt stuff like that and you can scratch a trailer while doing that so as long as you're rinsing it out you're rinsing that stuff out to prevent scratches so it's really important to keep the roof of your trailer clean uh, in the front too especially just because this is the area where leaves sap and bug uh, bug guts will sit on the most and since they're acidic they do just cause staining over time so you want to make sure you're always cleaning that off and making sure to prevent that staining from happening. So now we're gonna wash all the soap off. We're gonna start with the roof, because like with our initial rinse, when we rinse the roof, everything's gonna roll off the sides. We don't wanna be chasing ourselves around, trying to re-rinse, we just wanna do one rinse all the way around. Okay, so the final step to the washing process is you're gonna dry it using a microfiber drying towel. Uh, we typically like to start with the windows to avoid any water spotting. Just go like that. And then you're gonna move on to the rest of the trailer. This is the final step in a basic wash. Okay, so after a thorough wash and dry, you can see the factory shine has been brought, brought out again on this trailer. Um, we made sure to be really careful when drying it to prevent any water spots, to get all the water, especially off the windows. And so that completes the steps to washing your fiberglass trailer. Uh, if you guys are interested in any of the products we use during this video, we're gonna link those down in the description below. So you can check those out. Most of them can be found on Amazon pretty easily. So. Feel free to check that out. If you want any more information on us, you can visit our website at cgidetailing.com. Thank you guys for watching.